Hello and welcome to this uh, video on installing SQL Server with the BI tools. That's the Business Intelligent Tools. That's uh, SQL Server Analysis Services and SQL Server Integration Services. Okay, I'm running this on a Windows Server 2019 uh, operating system machine, but if for testing purposes you can uh, install it on a Windows 10 machine. Okay, now in the description of the video below, I have all the links to all the software you can download. So there's a link to SQL Server. I have 2017 I'm installing. And um, to SSAS, that's Analysis Services. SSIS, that's Integration Services. I also have a link to, the, as of this time, the latest video, or it's not video, latest uh, version of SQL Server Management Studio and also Visual Studios, the latest version, 2019. So I'm actually showing how to install the BI tools with uh, Visual Studios 2019. Okay, so I've already downloaded the software, so um, I will go to that and show you. So what I did was I've downloaded SQL Server. I'm going to install that first, and then I will install SQL Server Management Studios then Visual Studios, and then the extensions, analysis services, and then integration services that go with Visual Studios. Okay, so let's uh, install SQL Server first. So I've downloaded it. That's just the Microsoft installer. So it's going to start the install, and it's actually going to have to go out to the server to get the, the, the actual application. So I'm going to go custom. Where do you want to install it? Or sorry, where, where do you want to download the, 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 the database software first? Okay, so I'll just leave it as the default. I'll go install and it's going to uh, go through it. Now, um, I'm not going to sit here and make you guys wait. So with the uh, magic of video editing, I'm going to jump right to the end of this download. Okay, so the installation center starts up like this and I'm going to go install. And I'm going to pick the first option, standalone, a new install of SQL Server. So again, I'm going to go through here. And it's going to go through the, the hurry up and wait stage here. And you're going to pick, if you had a product key, you'd enter it here. I don't. I'm going to just do evaluation or developer. They're the same version of uh, evaluation. It's a 180 day trial, full, full. Uh, Use and developer means you can't put it on a production environment. So next, but they're the exact same thing. I accept the agreement. Okay, next, it's going to go through. And here, do I want to check for any updates for SQL Server? No, I don't want to. I'm not going to check it because I just basically downloaded it. So it's not, I don't want to apply any patches or anything. Okay, so it's going to go through this. And then it comes up with this. So I go next. And now here is where you get to pick uh, what you want to install. If you want to install um, reporting services, download it. Click here and it takes you to the download. I'm not going to install reporting services. So you need database engine services. That's the actual database SQL server. I want to install replication so I can do uh, replication. Um, I'm going to install analysis services here. And what else do I want? I'm going to go scroll down here. Connectivity tools and I'm going to install integration services. And I don't need any of this. Nope, none of that's needed. So I'll just double check replication because uh, I want to do replication for high availability, uh, do quality analysis service. Okay, that's it. Here are you, where you'd want to put everything, just leave it as the default for now. I'll hurry up and wait. And now here, the instance configuration. An instance is just a copy of SQL Server. So you can have different versions installed on the same server. You can have the same version multiple times because you may change it for something. Maybe you change the collation on one of the instances or installs and for all sorts of reasons. So 
Each server gets only one default instance. If you install multiple instances, you have to name the other ones, okay? This is only one install, so I'm going to leave it as the default instance. So it's going to be called the MS SQL Server. If you want to name it, you go here, put a name in, okay? So I'm just going to leave it there. Next. Hurry up and wait. So here's the uh, service accounts that SQL Server will create for each of the services you're about to install. Here's the startup type, automatic, manual, or disabled. I'll, I'll set this one to automatic also, it doesn't matter. SQL Server Agent is used to do unattended operations like backups and stuff like that. The database engine, well, we know what that's for. That's the actual database. Analysis services for cubes for data warehousing. And integration services for um, uh, bringing data in and cleaning it from other sources and the browser for uh, different instances on uh, so we don't have to have to give the uh, port number and stuff like that. Don't grant the perform volume maintenance that could um, add a security breach into your system because it won't clear out the data pages. Okay, it saves time by not having to clear them out. Collation that's just going to be the default usually what this operating system is so that's latin you can change that if you need to change the collation for the searching and stuff like that so next and now here you get how you want to be authenticated when you log into sql server if you're in a real production environment and it's a windows network you really want to leave it as Windows authentication mode if everything supports that. If you have some kind of legacy systems and you need to um, log in with a SQL server username and password, you then change it to mixed mode. The mixed mode allows us to use SQL server authentication. That's the one where you would have to supply a username and password to get in. Windows authentication is the mode that uses the Windows login information to log you in automatically, okay? I'm going to leave it as mixed mode so I can fool with both of them, but uh, you pick one or the other, but make sure your network really supports the Windows authentication mode. It'll save you a lot of trouble. So I'm just going to put a password in to log in. If I want to log in as SA, SA is um, the system administrator. If I want to log in as SQL server authentication. Now, when I want to log in as Windows authentication mode, I want to make sure that person has full rights to the server. So down here, make sure you click Add Current User, or else you'll have to go in and manually and put some in. So I'm just going to put one guy in now, and that's myself, the administrator. I'm the administrator. I have rights to the server when I log in under Windows authentication mode. Okay, data directories is where you'd want to save your data, okay, where your backups, your log files, your data, your tempdb, all that stuff goes. You could change that to different drives and directories. File stream would be used if you're uh, going to be using uh, blob files like video and audio and big images and stuff like that. You don't save those kind of files inside a database, even though it has support for that you would actually keep sort of pointers to it to outside on the hard drive and then have viewers to open them. Okay, okay, so now I'm going to go next, but don't forget to do this, add current user. I'm going to go next. And now this is for the analysis services portion, because remember when I uh, picked the services, I picked analysis services as one. What, what do you want to put the server mode in? I'm going to put it in multidimensional. This is the MOLAP mode. Uh, I don't want tabular. But if I put it in this one, I get options to do multidimensional or tabular, actually. So if I put it in tabular, I only get tabular. I don't get multidimensional. And then where your data directories want to be. And then again here, put add current user so that you have full rights to the analysis service server when you uh, start using it. So we'll go next. And it's just a summary of what you're installing. So I'm going to go go. And then it's going to go through the whole process of s installing. And again, through the magic of video editing, I'm going to jump right to the end and not make you sit here and wait through this. All right, and successfully installed. I can close that now. Now I'm going to close this, and everything else I'm going to install from the directories. So 
Next, I want to install Management Studio. So you'll see here, uh, SQL Server has been installed. There's our Configuration Manager. Here's our um, Configuration Manager, other things. Uh, let's go down here. So that's it. So what you'll see that's missing is what's called SQL Server Management Studio, the main um, GUI to uh, managing servers for Microsoft. There are Azure servers and the SQL Server service and even Analysis Service servers. Uh, it's now a separate install, so again, check the link and download it. And let's install Management Studio. Okay. Where do you want to start? There is a directory. Change it if you need to. Okay. And then it's going to go through the thing. And it's a hurry up and wait. So again, I'm going to jump to the end. And as you can see, once it's done, you have to restart your uh, computer. So I'll hit restart and let it go through the restart process. Okay. And the computer has restarted. Now the next thing I'm going to install so you can see now I have Management Studio installed right there, Management Studio. The reason you do that is because Management Studio now is separate from the main install of SQL Server. So it um, makes sense, actually. Temp, okay. So now what I'm going to install is Visual Studios. So just download. You can use the community version, which is the free version. This is 2019. Uh, so Visual Studio is 2019. Okay. Um, just to let you know, there is a, a standalone installer for the BI tools for analysis services and integration services, but it does not work with Visual Studio 2019 properly. So if you're installing 2019, do it the way I'm showing you here. Okay. So this is going to go through the install, and again, I'm not going to make you wait for it. Okay, so it's installed. Now you come to this part. And we're on workloads. Scroll down until you get to this other tool sets to data storage and processing. Click that or select that and click install. Okay, and it's going to go through. And again, I'll stop it and start it again when um, it's done. Okay. Okay, and now it's done installing. So I'm just going to close this now and close again. And now I'm going to install t the two extensions for Visual Studios. So go to the link and download Analysis Services extension. And, and the great thing about this is all you have to do is double click on it. And it will install to Visual Studios automatically. Okay, that's all you have to do. So after the initialization, it goes to this part. That takes a little while. Go install and let it do its thing. Okay, this takes a few minutes also, so just let it go. Okay, and that's complete. I'll close that. Now I'll go to SSIS and do the same thing. Download it, get this, double click, and start the install process of this extension. And there's the install of SSIS. And that's it. Now we've installed SQL Server. Then we installed uh, Management Studio. Then we installed Visual Studios 2019. And then two extensions for the BI tools, SSAS, which is Analysis Services, and SSIS for integration services that tie into Visual Studios to allow us to do our development for BI. And that's the total install. Okay, thanks. And have a great day, guys. Take care.